So before we get into me absolutely critiquing, roasting and analyzing these players, let's just recap the game because I know half of you didn't watch this. You know, if you're a real man, you did not watch three hours of the Sidemen charity game. Literally, maybe when it was like the 60th minute, but I went for a run. 75 kilometers you know took an ice plunge afterwards and then made 500 million dollars so let's just get into this game now sidemen versus youtube all stars kicked off with ethan bazinga scoring an absolute worldie well not really it was jiddy on trying to handball the ball that made ethan trying to score and he celebrated like he had just won west ham their first ever champions league even though they'll never qualify for that competition in the next probably 750 years but he made that finish look easy he was playing like Declan Rice all game and I have to rate it but Chris MD claps back like Prime Mares taking out three players on the game and then slotting it bottom right corner like an absolute madman then we get Manny playing an absolute brilliant ball to Simon Mini Minter who slots it bottom left like an absolute target man and then he just does the most cringe celebration ever Chunks getting a very lucky goal I feel like in all of these charity matches he does get a goal but this one was the luckiest one of all the man plays in slow motion he is absolutely brilliant no one can hate that guy Manny playing a 1-2 with Mini Minter and finishing it to make it 2-2 two, two. you know it was a very competitive game it is the 47th minute and now it is 2-2 two, two or 3-2 Simon lobbing it over man doing it easy and Manny finishing easily again uh, it's just not even real football at this point we got chris md getting taken out in the box speed steps up and absolutely wow genuinely the worst penalty i've ever seen in my entire life and i've seen all levels of football but then max fosh comes off after the corner and makes the you know the greatest shot to to really cement himself as the most privileged white man in the industry now a missed chance from speed Toby counterattacks, plays the ball all the way long. We got a little kerfuffle with Gideon and Q XQC and bang, Manny scores or Toby scores. Wow, I'm just actually racist. Wow, I'm racist. Now Manny scores, Manny's got the ball, Manny shoots and he scores. But yeah, now it's 6-3. I'm, I'm just racist. I've just realized I'm racist. KSI scored an own goal in this game by rolling it into his goal. He kind of reminded me of prime burn Leto at Arsenal absolutely awful we got Vic Star playing it to Harry and this was my favorite goal it was wholesome like how can you hate Harry Rotashaw that guy is absolute is an absolute gem Nico obviously got on the score sheet the tall lanky guy he also is another player that plays in slow motion he's got zero pace and then the final goal was by this guy Tariq who was the most honestly he was so bad and he celebrated and no one celebrated with him so sidemen won you know 8-5 at the end and it was an all-round great thing you know great atmosphere it was great for them you know they made a lot of money for charity and it's a good it's a good game hey my name is jib rules aka jib and i just got done watching the side men charity game aka the biggest game in world football apart from the world cup final champions league final any premier league game and genuinely any other real football now this game consisted of some goals and i'm here to give you a rundown of what happened but also give you my take because as an ex professional footballer uh, i think you need to hear this i'd like to analyze the game break down a few of the stats and just really get to grips in who is the real top ballers of the youtube game now if you don't believe me of course you know let me just change out of this and i'll change into my home kit of my team and then you'll you know get a little feel of who i really am so my real name is actually jude bellingham and i am here to talk real football just like i am real i'm a real center mid and i've been playing amazingly in the past couple of weeks so the game kicked off strong side men were looking kind of old dry shaky you know elderly but bezinga ethan was going crazy man was balling out he decided to play that like declan rice in this game and just was bossing that midfield so youtube all stars had the better of xg in the game you know coming up with a 3.49 and 33 shots with sidemen only getting 21 shots in the entire game i feel like with sidemen's team they had a lot of chemistry but didn't really have anyone penetrating the defense as much as youtube all stars had but in the defensive side of things we can understand why sidemen won the game with their tackles one being 20 in comparison to youtube all stars 10 their interceptions being six block seven and clearance is 15. they also had more duels won with a whopping 48 and generally their defensive line was much much thicker and girthier 
than YouTube All-Stars. I feel like YouTube All-Stars were very top heavy with the likes of Speed bringing that speed on that right hand flank and Nicolas Somalana staying up there and just pinning defenders. They also had Philly running the game who is honestly the only real baller on that pitch. Like in a real match, in a real game, in a, as a, at a real professional level, the player that you would pretty much take on your team from YouTube All-Stars has to be Philly. Philly provides you with that little bit more of composure in that midfield, giving it and going and also driving through. He really just kept the game ticking and was that pedometer when it comes to making the game run smoothly. We had an absolute masterclass by Chunks playing in almost slow motion the entire game. He has got incredible footwork, but man, is that boy slow. It's like someone just got the footage and just went 0.75 to every single one of his clips. But I swear to God, if he got fast, he would be a problem. I think a big shout out goes to Harry, aka Rotashaw, always being very steady in that defense, you know, shoring things up and being a rock. You know what I mean? Not Dwayne, but just a rock, a boulder. He was putting in last ditch challenges, taking man out, taking grass out and taking legs out. And along with the likes of Toby and Manny, Sidemen were inevitable. I like watching games for this, not for the comedic sides of things, but to actually see what YouTubers are like are actually playing competitive sport. So seeing people like Kai Sinat, Jadeon and Speed on a football pitch trying to actually competitively play, I love it. You know, I love it. I'm, I'm here for it. But it just shows that they are not anywhere near even... A, they couldn't even make it to the school football team in year seven. You know what I mean? They wouldn't even make it onto the year five football team. So it just shows the levels. I also completely forgot to mention that angry ginger guy. Young ginger boy playing. And he put in a master's class as well. He was one of the reasons why Harry was so, you know, defensively strong. Because if it wasn't Harry getting the ball, it was the angry ginger boy. Angry ginger man. As for YouTube All-Stars. Now, I hyped up Philly a lot for, you know, the person on YouTube All-Stars that is genuinely good. But I feel like for the game, you know, he didn't really play a lot. He didn't get a lot of moments. He was controlling the tempo, but didn't really do much with the ball. Whereas someone like Chris MD really stepped up. He had a lot of chances created and a lot of situations where he was getting himself in the box. He won a penalty. He also scored a goal and he put on a masterclass without having Noah Beck breathing down his shoulder. And if I was playing in this, this charity match, I would have scored at least... At, okay, let's be real. I would have scored at least like 892 goals. 